somewhere ever. So um, if you want to just take out your cell phone and send a little text to a friend saying, hey, I'm at this show, it's part of this festival, you should really check it out. That would be fantastic. And you're also welcome to tweet about it, not during the show, afterwards. <laughs> um, and so after you finish that, if you could turn your cell phone off, that would be wonderful. Tonight's performance is about 75 minutes long, no intermission. No, nope. one hour. One hour, never mind. Actually, 61. Okay, 61 minutes. Depends on how much you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so this evening's performance is 61 minutes long. And there's no intermission. And now I will hand it over to Elizabeth. Thank you. I'm sorry, one more brief announcement. Oh, and of course, God. the extra, extra important part. Emergency exits. <laughs> um, the emergency exits in the space are back out through the door that you came in and then down along the hallway where it says exits and restrooms. So you'll go out the door. Well, if there's an emergency, I will stand up and I will direct you out. Um, and we'll go out the left. Thank you very much. Now I'll let's start. V, welcome. And thanks so much for daring to come to a show whose subtitle is Meditations on Mortality. <laughs> we would be very pleased if you felt so moved after the show to come and give us any responses that you have, and if you would like to see some of the puppets more closely, uh, we will make them available to you, and, and so on. As, as Ashley said, it's just a little bit over an hour. This is, um, this is my Darth Vader look. <laughs> this is up for me to talk to you, but when it's down, I'm not here. <laughs> so this is hands up.
case liver cancer is what's killing him but this is a psychiatric case of delusions proven to be true <laughs> patient brought to the ER with nausea following chemotherapy transferred to the psych ward after outbursts in which he claims to have murdered howdy duty <laughs> otherwise response is normal S obsession confined to the issue of howdy duty do we need the whole doctor thing? Is that relevant? Well, we got to have some way to say that it's a kid's TV show from the 50s. Well, Lots of people don't know that. How about just the granddaughter comes in? Mm -hmm. Grandpa, <sighs> you asleep? <sighs> Grandpa? Not anymore. Oh, sorry, but you called me to come. Uh, I, I think I'm dying now. What do you mean? 
getting dead. <laughs> I had this vision, this, uh, this creature of light with a smile and a gleaming halo says, no fart, you're going to croak. <laughs> Grandpa. Maybe you need to talk. Well, that works. It's crazy. You Google the death of Howdy Doody, you get 44,000 hits. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get more desperate. Edie, for God's sake, come here. Listen to me. i got to confess. No, please. No, Grandpa, please. You're okay. Confess. You're I okay. just, I murdered Howdy Doody. Grandpa, that was a puppet show. It was a world. So then what if it's the afterlife, and he's on trial, and the, uh, the witnesses are Buffalo Bob, Mr. Bluster, the flub dub and, and Clara Bell with his horn and his seltzer squirter, and it's total chaos, and the kids all go berserk, which God knows we wanted to do in 1953. <laughs> no, I never actually ever watched it. Oh, and then Howdy, <laughs> with, with his wooden smile and a word from our sponsor, Judy Bill. Oh, could we get sued? My... <laughs> Little boy, Richie. That was Daddy. Richie. Well, he was your little boy, Grandpa, but he was my daddy. I know where babies come from, damn it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Richie loved Howdy Doody. He, he, I watch it every day. He had a Howdy Doody cowboy suit. He, he, he prayed for Howdy Doody. Now he's dead. Yeah, that's right, Grandpa. Daddy died eight years ago. I know that. I don't mean him. Well, but who? Richie loved that little pimply red-headed fake. He thought that was how he do it. I knew the truth. What, uh, copyright? Well, yeah, it is copyright. Copyright, uh, trademark, patented, circumcised. Yeah, but <laughs> we are not representing that character or showing the image. So it's it not that one, it was the other one. Oh, Grandpa, please, you have to be quiet. Let Let's forget about Howdy Doody. Who brought the flowers? 1953. What? 1953, I was a young lawyer with Peters, 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 and Bork. <laughs> <laughs> we had this uh, case, this puppeteer brought against the Howdy Doody show. Uh, he'd supplied the puppets, uh, wanted to share the licensing rights. They said no, so he took away his puppets, including the star, who, whose original name was Elmer. How he sounds better. So they got another puppet, bandaged its head, and told the kids that Howdy was having a facelift. <laughs> so then, suppose we have um, puppets come up and they say, uh, he's running for president of the oh. Kids of America, and we want a happy guy, not a goofy guy. No, 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 no. We can't pretend to play this show. Oh. We'll have... Peters, 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 and Bork. <laughs> You'll have lawyers all over the place. Howdy Doody is part of the culture. He's an icon. He's an American icon. Uh, American icons are owned. Mickey Mouse is owned. Michael Jackson is owned. The U.S. Senate is owned. <laughs> Cut the politics! I'm on my deathbed! Oh, hey, listen. No. Come on. Yes, so, so the, the new guy, the new puppet, they, they took off the band-aids. There he was. Freckles, red hair, big smile, sunrise in America. Grandpa, now listen. that was 50 years ago. It's now. It's now. These flowers are nice. So the guy sued that had the goofy puppet. He, he sued their ass. And, we represent the producers, uh, set a lot of court, a lot of money, on condition that... Mr. Lowry, as junior member of the firm, we offer you a unique opportunity. On condition Our that... client needs to ensure that the original so-called Howdy Doody does not appear and lay claims to be the original Howdy Doody, which would compromise the integrity of the iconic Howdy Doody and the licensing rights pertaining to the iconic Howdy Doody. So what happened was that... Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Is this true? It's in a book. <laughs> <sighs> the settlement specifies cremation to be carried out on the premises of Peters, 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 and Bork. 
The custodian will arrange your desk and smoke detectors are rare in 1953. Is this agreeable? I could have said no. But <laughs> we're all puppets. I am a puppet. You're a puppet. We're under control. Oh, no, Grandpa. You're just feeling bad. We're people. We're not puppets. Uh, excuse me, but the fact is your grandfather is correct. <laughs> you are puppets. This is a puppet show. I'm sorry, it's a fact. <laughs> Andy, listen. Grandpa, there's research in neuroscience that explains this feeling you have. Guilt! Shame! Disgust! I'll, 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 I'll read up on it. So could we have the nurse pop up with a red nose and she says, Mr. Lowry, it's clown time. You need to laugh. It's therapeutic. No. No, I, I'm sorry. We cut the nurse. Yes. Look, I think we need to keep this very simple. Hmm. A man is dying. He feels guilty. And that's it. Okay. So, we lift up. The box. He gets himself out of bed. Barely. It was two minutes from being dead. How are you doing, Mr. Nolly? How's tricks? Okay. Feeling good? Not so good. Too bad. How about you? Kind of squished. much of a puppeteer. Guess not. You're a good lawyer, though, I'll bet. I guess. Say, uh, Mr. Lowry, say hi to Richie for me, would you? He's a good little boy.
Jones. We're the messengers of doom. I don't understand. Of course not. That's why Mr. Brown asked me to join him, because we want to do our best to answer whatever questions you may have. Sure to be so. No question. Are you selling something? Mr. Smith means that we're the messengers of doom. Could we step in? Ample identification. More than enough. Here is they. Testimony. Revelations and prophecies. Step right in. Why, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Mrs. Jones, I don't quite know how to tell you this, uh, but uh, uh, without beating around the bush, without uh, hemming and hawing, without any shilly-shallying, without uh, giving you some kind of song and dance, without a moment's hesitation, while you were just sitting there without a care in the world, Mr. Jones has snapped. What? Snapped? A snapper. Snapped. Mr. Jones has snapped. Doom. Sit down. Snap. <laughs> Miss Jones, let me fill you in. Your husband has been under strain. A lot of it's money. You buy things. Uh, say, if instead of being the messengers of doom, we were selling magazines, I'd look at you, I'd say, that's an easy mark. Well, he's been working awfully hard. I mean that his company has had to lay a lot of people off to make ends meet, and uh, that's caused him to have to work overtime, which he's done, God bless him, say, 17 or 18 hours a day, because those ends have got to meet. And the money crunch has been hard on you, too, where you haven't always been in the mood to fulfill your marital duty, as they say. And he's upset. He's under strain. He's tried to get a little tail around the office, but no luck, because most of the tail has been laid off. So he snapped. We come in to tell you. I don't understand. Is he had a nervous breakdown or what? Where is he? In the hospital. Mrs. Jones, don't be so concerned. Because that ain't the worst. Would you sign this paper, please? And this one, too? What, what is it? Sign it for Christ's sake, it's a paper one to look like! Sit down! Would you, if you could just tell me? That ain't all. It ain't all. Because if we got news for you. Do. Miss Jones, you have a father. Sure. Your father's retired. He's vulnerable. He's living on Social Security, right? Uh, vulnerable to inflation and emphysema. Ms. Jones, you put him in a nursing home. <sighs> I know you thought that was the best thing because you had to go out working. You couldn't stay home and change his diapers. I know. But you must have heard. Harp. You've heard of nursing homes that starve the old children. You've seen it on TV. They drug the old ladies. They don't let them have babies. They take away their Wheaties and they let them shrivel up. You read all about it? No! Oh, well, your dad got in with a bad lot. to uh, have a cigar. Why, thanks. Shut up! <coughs> they sat down to supper. Three hungry codgers and seven ravenous crones. Your father was hard of hearing, and when they told him what they were going to do, he said, carry on. Gave his consent. In writing. Unconditional. They boiled him. Boiled your dad. Served him up. Worcestershire sauce. Last three weeks. Do, do, do. Of course we heard. Sympathize. No hard feelings. In memoriam. They gave us all. Paid the price. Roll on that deep and dark blue ocean roll. Missing in action. Absent with leave. Stop it. Are you crazy? What do you want? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand. Of course you don't there's reasons for that. Thank you, you're dumb. So we're here to tell you so then you'll know what you don't understand. Give me a dollar. No! You don't understand. You certainly don't understand. I'm going, going to scream. to scream! Give me a dollar! Don't scream! Order's will! Wait! Don't scream. Don't you want to hear the worst? How am I going to tell you the worst if you're screaming while I tell you? Do. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jones, you have a little boy. You love your little boy. You ain't got barrel money. Love makes up for a lot. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Your little boy got an owie. Got an owie in his tummy. They had to take him to fix his tummy, but then they couldn't. Why? He hadn't established a credit rating. Of course not. He's only five years old. He can't buy a car. He can't take it along. He has absolutely no way to demonstrate that the hospital can expect any compensation for removal of the owie other than the profound and heartfelt glow of Christian charity. Which just won't happen. Mm -hmm. So your little boy, Mrs. Jones, has reached a dead end. Ground zero. Lost to rise. All the while. Stop it! Tell me! Give me a dollar. Where is it? Your car. Thank you so much. Over another dollar. Doom! What's happened to my son? Pardon the question, but are you incorporated? 
If you were, you could include an indemnification clause, which would cover whatever your board decided was proper, assuming he was engaged in the business of the corporation, which you define in your articles. I'd recommend it. No, say it. Then it's subject to windfall. You can't beat windfall. But what do you do? If you've tried it all. You read all the bestsellers. Melt away inches while you sleep. One hundred proven ways to make a million. Fifty cents a day buys life after death. You sent for those tips on kitchen magic. You sent for Dolly Parton's greatest hits. But she didn't tell you that. You tried to open the free sample, but you couldn't get through the plastic. You tore at it, ripped it, bit it, hammered it, finally threw it out. And then you got the bill. You thought, what if I uh, change my name? thought, uh, well, what if I rapidly die? You thought, uh, what if I build a more powerful vocabulary and uh, get a better understanding of the erogenous zones and uh, diversify my holdings of stocks and bonds and become truly liberated and discover the power of prayer and look out for number one? But what do you do? What do you do if you stare at the wall? What do you do if you can't find the switch? What do you do if some clown show up at the door. What do you do? You're screwed. See, Miss Jones, we just want to let you know how the system works. Not very damn well. Because you don't know how the system works. You're at the mercy. Raw meat. Sitting duck. Hoodwinked and bamboozled. Stunned and befuddled. Duped and abused. Oh! Oh! In point of fact, there is some I don't understand. Of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. And it's not very interesting anyway. All the uh, technical jargon, graphs and charts and decimal points. It's, it's your, your choice. choice. It's your choice. It's your choice. You can take time to scour through a library of books and try to understand what's baffled the best minds of our time. I mean, it's your choice. <laughs> or? Or you can make a better choice. Here it is. Give me a dollar. Sunny side of the street. Happy ending. Life is a cabaret, old charm. Oh, ass. The lottery. Oh, the lottery. Think of it. One buck, and you can be sitting pretty. Unsnap your hubby, sew up your little boy, and set up a polished memorial tablet to your daddy, who has met a fate approximately equivalent to death. See, we don't want to be the messengers of doom. No way. We'd rather be the harbingers of hope. Hope. Hope.
Mr. Leonard. Mm. Five minutes. Five minutes. Hey. Yes? Yeah. On the dot. Five minutes. Max. Then what? Bingo. Well, you, you come here with a uh, hemlock or a uh, hypodermic or I mean, you know what I mean. Like well, you're in the system. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Now, hold on. Now, there, there's a lot of guys that die at the end of the show, but they, they don't just last five minutes. Well, it's all a talent show, Mr. Leonard. Life is just a way of attracting attention. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Now, there, there's five stages to this. I, I, I read this. This was a bestseller, a, a, a denial. Right, you're in a state of denial. I am not. See? <laughs> 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 All this crap, the, the swine flu, the bird flu, the, the global warming, the communist menace, Armageddon, it's all bullshit, which I could demonstrate if I had more time, but I, I've only got four, four minutes. minutes. Well, you better get on with your stages. Uh, okay, denial, anger, bargaining, uh, what? Uh, Total fucking freak out. Freak out. Now look. If I was some hot shit movie star, you'd give me more than five minutes. I, I check my resume. It's meaningful. There's a story that's being told. Every human life has value. We should always pretend that that's true. <laughs> Mr. Leonard, you have a hand up in you, yes? And it pulls out of the station in exactly three, three minutes. minutes. All right, bargaining. Uh, uh, could, uh, could I, my, my kids, could I say goodbye to my kids? Puppets do not have children. They have three little pigs or wicked stepsisters or they throw the baby out the window. Uh, 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 health insurance, uh, can I get a refund? Mr. Leonard, we're not interested in your hemorrhoids. We're concerned with your entertainment value. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not headline material, but I, I'm putting up a fight. Uh, don't, don't they make uh, movies out of these guys fighting the odds? And they have this life-affirming will to live. Well, maybe one of these nice people out there will make you into a movie. Oh, please. Say please. I said please. 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 Oh, that's lovely. It reminds me of the days when people said please. <laughs> Don't laugh. The clock is running. You know, at this point, lots of people get more spiritual. <laughs> oh, God. God, 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 oh, Jesus, God, 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 God. Excuses, excuses. Two Hello. minutes. minutes. Time for despair. Uh, Want some water? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we charge by the car. Oh. There's nobody out there, honey. Those are plants. Where did it all go? I, I grew up in the Midwest. I, I, uh, I went to college. Uh, my mom was a bookkeeper. My dad was drunk. Uh, I got married, I think. Uh, I had kids. Uh, and, and a trip to Yellowstone. I, I, I remember a girl named Janice. I, 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 I'm, I'm seeing headlights. I, I can't. Uh, no. I had, had a puppet show. TV puppet show when I was a kid. Yeah, there, there was a there was a dragon. It, Hi, kids. Uh, that wasn't him. His name was Ollie. Well. Shake me like a dish rag and suck me like a pickle. <laughs> huh? One um, minute. I, I'd, I'd like to recite a poem. Something beautiful. The final stage of acceptance. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. Damn. Yeah, the Nine. hung with snow Eight. upon the bow Seven. and stands along Six. the woodland rock. Lovely dark and deep. Five. The, the woods <laughs> Four. are lovely, dark, Three. Deep, but I, Two. I have One. only God can make a tree.
tree. Die! Nice looking kids. They really are. Hard to recognize. <laughs> I've changed a lot. Uh, you and me both. <laughs> Was it here? I don't recall the place. I remember the light. It was after some election. Uh, you had that scarf I gave you. And I finally said it. yourself very clearly. You pull back, you get depressed, and I never know what to expect. And that has a certain fascination, but it, it wears thin. I need some space. Empty space. <laughs> say something, idiot. You didn't know what to say. I don't know. It's not you. It wasn't you. It was the war and the news and the job and the faces, people's faces, people's faces. Oh, don't, don't say anything. Just reach out and touch him. You don't want him to go. You meant every word, but you don't want it. You don't want that to be the end of it. Say something, idiot. Take a sip. If you got an itch, then scratch it. Some sign of life, okay? <laughs> and then, what the hell, just reach out. Take hold of her hand, and maybe you'll spend the rest of your life together, okay? Touch him. Okay? Anyway, 
You've had a good life. Amazing. Kids, accomplishments, love, fantastic. And so have I. What's to regret? We lived. Yes. Yes. You love him? Yes. Graduation. Thank, Thank God. God damn. We'll get through this. I know. I know you. I see you. I believe you. Yes. Actually, pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> um, no. You don't know me. I just come here sometimes. You're not here either.
seen your problem. I don't have a date. I'm still a virgin. There, there's a girl over there I could dance with, maybe, so I guess I ought to dance. I cross the dance floor. But I get closer. I see who it is. Uh, oh, I, I, I did a turn paper. Uh, it's Kali. <laughs> Kali stands under a cloud of blue balloons, prom dress, crinolines, and skulls, and waits to be asked. I cross the floor, come to her. She reaches out six of her hands. <laughs> it's a slow dance. <laughs> a two-step. She smiles and shows me her soft, flat, hungry tongue. <laughs> she says, what is your truest desire? I, I think that's what she said. I, I don't know. I, I, I want to leave Omaha. I, 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 want, I want to dance, obviously. I, I want to tell the truth. Find some way to tell the truth. You I want to say what I really want. And I don't even have to do it. I, I just want to say it and have it heard and nobody pissed off or think it's the end of the world or anything. And not be heard or anything. Just think, hey, I'm hearing the truth. That's great. That's love and trust and uh, having a brother. You can't. I can do it. Just open my mouth and say it in the simplest terms and, and trust. Trust somebody with my bank account and my children. Trust somebody not to stab me if I snore. I, I can trust. Ooh. And taste. To taste the honey. Bitter stuff and sour like cranberries. Bite into the fruit and it tastes like it tastes in dreams and the colors are changing and you feel it's coming alive in your teeth. Truth! I wish I could. They're, they're dancing. Dancing. Oh, they, they look older. Older. Oh, is that, ah, wait, this is high school. Is that Nick and Christine? Old guy with a fat lady. Uh, get up off the floor! He's down. Nick! All the tears they cry. Oh, it's, it's raining. Rain! And the wind in the grass and the wolves. Oh, I love those wolves. The dance floor is clear and they're huddled around the edges. Desert. Walk in the desert, it sprouts where you step. In footsteps, magic. And now there were babies crawling around on the floor. They're toddling, dancing together, rising, stumbling, falling, crying, crowing. Babies kissing and making love. Sweet. Babies in intercourse doing it there on the floor. Babies birthing babies in swarms. Teenage babies, young married babies, career track babies, <laughs> grandpa and grandma babies. No, no, wait, I, I have to go. Uh, people see me, my friends, right now they're all la and dying, but tomorrow they'll laugh at me and... I saw you right away. I could taste you. I get this flicker in my tongue. Well, we're talking about reality. I need to do something now. Uh, Cut off your head. Ooh, it's nice. It fits my necklace. Look at you now. You're naked. I, I ran into tops. It peeled off. Who am I? Now, we need to dance. She led me on to the dance floor. And we dance. Would you make love?
love with a woman who's deaf and blind? Yes. Would you screw a man who's chewing snuff? All right. Or strip a girl without a nose? All right. Or bang the fat guy who sells used yeah, cars? I can. Will you shag a woman who bleeds? Okay. Or fuck a man who's dying? Yes. Or me? Or me? Yes. Or me? Yes. Yes. Another slow dance. And several times we pause to couple. She lifts her skirt, arch back to open herself. Our bodies sing, and children tumble in multitudes from our mating cries. I felt the river surge, the sur current of rivers that fill me, the Amazon, Ganges, the Nile, the Tigris, the Euphrates, Yellow River, the Volga, of the Congo, the Mississippi, rivers like colossal serpents slithering up the tree. You're a good dancer. Thank you. They're taking our picture. Smile. We stood there, still dancing, our fingers dancing together, a spiral dance. She's lover to me, and wife, and mother, and daughter, and the rivers run up to the stars. <laughs> oh, it's a joke! She, she's joking, she laughs, sets it up, she steps on my toes, ah, and I scream, and, and it's... Play. It's all play. She laps it up. My graduation. Pro. Trips to the dentist. Pro. My first time with a girl. My second. My third. And, and it's in a comic book. And, and my fights with my mother. And what, am I, what am I talking about? Pro. My marriage. My son. My daughter. Diagnosis. I shouldn't be reading comic books at the prom, but it's on the shelf in a comic book store, and I pick it up, and it's me and Elizabeth. There's John, Flora, there's Ellen, Steve, Ralph, Liza, Camilla, there, there's Adam, damn you, I loved you, but, but. It's all a story, and I'm turning the pages backwards, backwards into the future, all different worlds, and it's road. And the nurse is a fox-trotting waitress who brings me death in a cup, and oceans and rivers of blood. That's, that's not my order. I didn't order that! Oh, yes, you did. Translucent, spreading. Our bodies lie in these pools and their ripples. The heat and the honey, the rich oil sweat of the floods in the lowlands, and waterfowl rise from its surface. Millennial rapture, the mallards rising into the open mouth of God. We lap the fluid of arrows, the dark water eyes of lakes, the dragonflies. She bites me home. We kiss at the door. The air. Fertile art.
thank you so much for coming. Um, we play one more night here, and uh, if you're interested in our work, uh, you can pick up our, our website. There are a lot of our, it's a little bit different style, but our whole uh, 94 episode radio series with lots of radio dramas on it uh, are there for free listening and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff and a few video samplers and so on. We also have some books and videotapes over here. We have a, a complete puppet production of, a temp of The Tempest we did a couple of years ago and uh, The Descent of the Goddess Inanna. So uh, if you are so minded, why please buy something. But in any case, uh, we'll, we'll uh, grab a couple of puppets and if you'd like to share responses or see them up close, why 